A late night ride leads to the death of one man and leaves another critically injured. May 30th, 2021, not only changed the lives of one family, but left another without their son. Tonight, I peel back the layers of this Oklahoma cold case. Marvin McCoy had a smile that could light up a room. The Bristol High School graduate was a star athlete. Tulsa police say this young man had his whole life ahead of him until it was cut short May 30th, 2021. Marvin McCoy was riding as a passenger inside of a vehicle. Uh, the driver of the vehicle is Tyrone Brown. Police say they were both out late after midnight. When they got to the area of about 1200 North Martin Luther King, but they were heading southbound towards the downtown area, that's when a vehicle that was traveling behind them, it was a dark sedan, started shooting into the victim vehicle. Trying to escape, McCoy and Brown instead veered out of control. Tulsa police tell us that during that shootout, one of those cars ended up slamming into a power pole. Police say the impact killed Marvin McCoy. His friend Tyrone Brown was also shot and is still dealing with the aftermath of his injuries. His mother, Jamie Tate, says she'll never forget the phone call that changed her family's life forever. And because she still fears for their safety, she's asked us not to show what she and her son look like today. It's hard because I want to take him out and do things, but I'm very cautious um, what I do and where I go because we don't know anything about these people. Looking back to that night, I had just come in from out of town. I was a traveling nurse and I had just got home for the weekend and I got a phone call from a detective white about 4.30 a.m. saying I needed to get to a hospital because my son was undergoing brain surgery. So he had been shot in the head. Frantic, Jamie says she raced towards Ascension St. John Hospital. When he came out, um, it was me, my mom, and my sister there at the time. He let us know that um, he was pretty severely injured and that he did not know if he was going to make it past 48 hours. Miraculously, Tyrone survived being shot in the head and to this day is still working hard to recover. We still have a long road, but um, he has a lot of support. <laughs> His family says Tyrone was always the life of the party. Tulsa police tell us they believe the shooting that took Marvin's life and gravely injured Tyrone was gang related. And while they have some evidence in this case, Detective White says they need just a little bit more to put the shooter or shooters behind bars. They're mothers and they want justice. And so uh, my heart goes out to the both of them. And all it takes is, is somebody having the courage to step forward and make a phone call. Now, anyone with information about the murder of Marvin McCoy and the injury of Tyrone Brown is asked to contact the Tulsa Police Department, or you can call Crime Stompers. That number is 918-596-COPS.